Most of us, of course, ask the question, well, how do I know whether I'm getting enough sleep? Well, it's not rocket science. If you need an alarm clock to get you out of bed in the morning, um, if you are taking a long time to get up, if you need lots of stimulants, if you're grumpy, if you're irritable, if you're told by your work colleagues that you're looking tired and irritable, chances are you are sleep deprived. Listen to them, listen to yourself. What do you do? Well, and this is slightly offensive, sleep for dummies. Um, <laughs> make your bedroom a haven for sleep. The first critical thing is make it as dark as you possibly can and also make it slightly cool, very important. Actually, reduce your amount of light exposure at least half an hour before you go to bed. Light increases levels of alertness and will delay sleep. What's the last thing that most of us do before we go to bed? We stand in a massively lit bathroom um, with looking into the mirror, cleaning our teeth. It's the worst thing we could possibly do to, 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 before we went to sleep. Turn off those mobile phones, turn off those computers, turn off all of those things that are also going to excite the brain. Try not to drink caffeine too late in the day. Um, ideally, not after lunch. Now, we said about reducing light exposure before you go to bed, but light exposure in the morning is very good at setting the biological clock to the light-dark cycle, so seek out morning light. Basically, listen to yourself. Wind down. Do those sorts of things that you know are going to ease you off into the, into the honey-heavy dew of slumber.